Okay, in this particular exercise in your book, this is section 9.3, page 421. We're looking at number 28 in the book. 27, 28, 29, and 30. I'll deal with credit card or finance charge situations. You want to find the average daily balance of the credit card account. Now, think of the word average. Like when you're averaging grades, you add them up and divide by the number of grades. In this particular exercise, we're looking at four situations. And I want to give you the whole picture first. We're looking at the month of October. And when we begin the month of October, the balance on the card is $190. Now, I'm going to give you just the whole perspective first of all to give you an idea what's going on. On October the 9th, the person, if you look in the book on number 28, page 421, on October 9th, they charge $35 for the book. Now, if they charge $35 for the book, the credit card balance is now $225 because I charged $35 on the card. I'll get to the daily in just a second. On October 11th, the person charged $20 for gasoline. So on October 11th, we're going to take this, this current balance, which is now $225, and we're going to add twenty dollars to that credit card debt so to speak for gasoline and now the balance is even higher two hundred and forty five dollars for that one on october twentieth and just in case the video does something crazy for me on october twentieth i'm gonna scroll this down just a bit they made a payment on the credit card of hundred and ten dollars so i'm gonna take that two forty five which is the current balance now they made a payment of 110 which means I'm subtracting because if I make a payment of $110 I don't want to add it because that makes the debt more if I made a payment the debts less therefore I'm going to subtract so I now have a balance on the card of 110 less of what I used to have so now my balance is only $135 then on October 26th they charge $13 for lunch so we're going to take that 135 that's the current balance as of October 25th, and then, and then we charge $13 for lunch. So the current balance on the card right now would be $148 for the rest of the month. That's $148. Now, how in the world do we find the average daily balance? Well, what we have to look at are all the days from October 1st, October 2nd, October 3rd, all the way to October 31st. So I want to look at what the balance was on each of those days. Now hopefully you'll keep up with me on this and if you don't just stop the video and continue to rewind it until you get what you need. So here we go. Hopefully you're okay with this. If not, just keep going back to it. On October 1st, and I'm going to just write October right here just to make it easier. On October 1st, all the way through, on October 1st the balance was $190. It was the same balance on October 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. And the reason the balance was $190 on all eight of those days is I didn't charge $35 for that book until the 9th. So right now what I have is I'm going to have $190 for eight days. So I can either write 198 times, which I'm not going to do, or I can write down... 8 times 190. Let me just do this again. I'm going to make this a little bit easier. I'm going to back up a minute just to be on the safe side. So bear with me. So I've got a $190 balance for 8 days. Alright? You can write this problem when you give it to me any way that makes it easier for you to understand. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Now, on October 9th, remember, on October 9th, they charged $35 for the book. And therefore, the balance for October 9th suddenly became... $225 and that lasted for two days, October 9th and October 10th. So I'm going to write $225 down twice. Now on October 11th, there was another change. And I'm going to scroll this up just in case the video makes it difficult for you to see. On October 11th, they charged $20 for gasoline. It's a little crazy to do on this video, so bear with me. So when they charged $20 for gasoline, now on October 11th, the new sorry, the new balance ended up being 20 more dollars than what it used to be. So now the new balance is going to be $245.
Now that $245 balance lasted all the way through October 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So it lasted for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 days. So I've got 245 for 9 days. And there's that balance. Now, on October 20th, all of a sudden on October 20th, I apologize for the sloppy writing, they made a payment of $110. Now, if I made a payment of $110, remember I subtract that. So instead of $245 owed, we now have $135 as the balance. Now, this happened on October 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. That was for, excuse me, not 26th, I'm sorry, through 25. It stayed that way for six days. So basically what I have here is 135 six times. I apologize for my sloppy handwriting. I'm trying to hurry these videos for you to get them out there. Now on October 26th, something else happened. On October 26th, $13 was charged for lunch. That means the credit card balance is higher than $135. I'm adding $13 for lunch. So now the balance is $148. And it stayed that way through the end of the month. So for October 26, 7, 8, 9, 30th, and 31st for six days, I've got $148 for the current balance. Let's recap and make sure you're understanding this. Going to the very top of the screen, I hope I don't make you dizzy here. For nine days, for eight days, the balance for eight days was $190. Then it changed when I bought get when I bought a book, and the balance became $225 for two days. On October 11th, all the way through the 19th, when we charged $20 for gas, the new balance became $245 from the 11th to the 19th. On October 20th, there was a payment made on the card, so the balance changed to $135 from the 20th, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25th of August of, of October. Sorry, and then on October 26th, $13 was charged for lunch, so it made it $148. So again, those figures, the 190, the 225, the 245, the 135, and the 148, end up like this. Now the long way of doing this is, but remember that this is called an average daily balance. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking those 31 days, those 31 days of the balance, adding all those numbers up and dividing by 31, because there are 31 days in the month of October. So here I go. Now, I don't want to sit here and put all of these numbers in one big column. You can do that if you want to, but it's easier for me to do it this way. I've got eight 190s. So if I say eight times 190, and this marker is being stubborn, if I say eight times 190, please bear with me, I'm going to get 1,500. And twenty dollars. Now, don't let that freak you out. That that's just that's just eight of those balances. Eight times one ninety. Now, the two twenty five balance lasted for two days. So, if I say two times, and again, my marker is being stubborn right here. If I say two times two twenty five, I end up with four hundred and fifty dollars for those two days. Now for nine days, the balance was 245. So I'm taking those values, 245 for nine days. So nine times 245 is going to give me 2,205. From October 20th to October 25th, six days, I had $135 for the balance. So I'm going to take those numbers, six times 135, and I end up getting eight hundred and ten dollars and for the remainder of the month from the 26th of October through the 31st for six days I have 148 for each of those days so I say six times 148 and I end up getting eight hundred and eighty eight dollars now those are all the totals for the 31 days so if I take those figures and again I'm talking about the ones in the circles if I take the eight days at 1520 the two days at 450 
the nine days at two forty five, the six days at eight hundred and ten eight hundred and thirty five dollars each, and these one forty eight for six days. If I add those numbers up, I end up getting one thousand five hundred and twenty plus four fifty plus two thousand two hundred and five plus eight ten plus eight eighty eight. And I'm making sure I've got those numbers correct. 15, 20, 450, 2,205, 810, 888. And if I add those numbers together, I end up getting $5,873. And I'm going to divide that by 31. The reason I divide it by 31 is because there are 31 days in October. So I can find, it's like averaging 31 numbers together. So to find the average daily balance, I divide 5,873 by 31 and I end up getting approximately the value $189.45 so that's the average balance for the 31 days on my credit card in the month of October hopefully this makes sense to you again if you need to replay the video and as far as how you, you go ahead and replay the video if you need to or email me whatever whatever it takes to help you out I think replaying will make it a little more sound. But lay this problem out any way you want to do it. I just did it this way for the video purposes. You do whatever works for you. You don't have to show all this work to me as long as you just don't write down just the answer. You can show me as much or as little as you need to so that I know that you know how to do it. I was very elaborate in the video because I need to show very detailed steps for people that need help. So again, I hope this helps you. Let me know if you need additional assistance with this.